In iOS 11, the lock screen and notification center have merged into one. Here is how to use them. So like in previous iOS versions, the lock screen is the first thing you see before unlocking your device. Here you can see the time, your notifications, and if you swipe, on the left you can see different widgets that you select, and on the right you can access the camera. For notifications, you will see your latest ones at the top. After some time though, if you don't address these notifications, they will hide away. But you can still access them. You just swipe up on the lock screen and you will see these notifications from earlier today or previous days. You can interact with the notifications in a few ways. If you 3D touch or long hold on a panel, you can view the notification. You can also slide on the notification and on the right, you have the option to view or clear the notification and on the left, you have the option to open it. If you choose to open the notification, you'll need to input your passcode or use Touch ID to open up the phone and take you to the particular app. All of this isn't too different from the lock screen of before, but what is really different is the notification center. Once inside your phone, when you swipe down from the top like you would normally do to access your notification center, it is now exactly the same as the lock screen. It works in the same way and it looks the same. The only difference is you can just swipe up and go back home without having to unlock your device again. But that is the new lock screen and notification center in iOS 11. For more how-tos on this new software release, be sure to visit MacRumors.com.